So today um, I'm going to be talking about the surgery that I'm getting on Wednesday, the 20th. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry, she just needs attention right now. Um, so I just wanted to explain <clears throat> a couple of things in more detail to you guys. Again, like I've said previously, I am getting a giant hormonal tumor, um, at least that's what we think it is, removed from my right breast. It has enlarged to the entire size of the bottom of my boob, if not more, especially during periods and such. Um, which is extremely painful because it's like a freaking baseball in my boob and it's it, it just hurts a lot so that is one of the number one reasons like why i'm getting this done because also when i remove a chunk of breast tissue out to remove the tumor my breast is going to ultimately be smaller because we're moving that much um, fatty tissue and whatever out. So therefore, for also my back issues, um, if some of you don't know, I have had back surgery in the past and unfortunately have re-injured myself. I have three herniated discs in my lower back, which is causing excruciating pain all the time. And my breasts are about 20 pounds. So at this point, it's in my best interest to get them up and lifted also off of my rib cage right here because and you can even see i have like a permanent heat rash from them but to get them off of my rib cage because it's a, it's really hard to breathe um i don't have implants i am not getting implants also i want to stay natural um but this is going to highly benefit my health in multiple ways. And I'm just at the point in my life where I, I'm tired of being in pain. I'm in so much constant pain. So, yeah, I'm finally going through with it. And a lot of people, um, you know, I've gotten a lot of, like, comments of people making assumptions about, oh, she's just gonna chop them off and she's gonna be flat chested and this and that, which isn't the case at all. When I first started in the industry, um, I was in a D cup and then I was about a D to a double D at the most. I'm in an N cup, N as in Nancy or a double J in the United Kingdom. So the difference in size that I was to what I am now I talked to my surgeon and he told me it wouldn't even be possible to be smaller than I was in the beginning of the industry because I have so much breast tissue. Um, so it's not actually physically possible for me to have small boobs at this point. I basically just told him, I said, after the tumor's removed, just make them, you know, proportionate to my body. And yeah, pretty much that's that. So, so that being said, um, I'm excited because I'm excited to see how much pain is going to be lifted off um, after the surgery, but of course I'm nervous and it's not just that like I'm nervous because it's surgery, you know, there's risk with everything, but I'm nervous because I've had, you know, big natural breast my entire life and I, I'm I've been in pain forever so it's I don't know I'm just nervous it's just because it'll be the first time in my life that they're gonna be like not weighing me down literally and more and um metaphorically so um and the tumor is finally gonna get removed which is fantastic so yeah um i'm doing it and the second that i'm recovered and i'm feeling good i'm getting right back to work because especially if the pain is gone like it should be I'm not gone completely you know but especially after like everything's settled 
I really honestly feel like I'm gonna perform so much better because I'm not gonna have them like, you know, pulling on my shoulders and pulling on my back. So I'm, I'm excited to get back into work after and um, I guess I'll just keep filming and have you guys follow along on my journey. So yeah, thanks for watching.